Part of what makes traveling through the backcountry so much fun is that it's a little bit dangerous. Ideally, you'd have a full first aid kit with you at all times, but that's not always realistic. So we've got Ted, a registered EMT and wilderness guide, who's gonna share a few backcountry first aid tips and tricks. Stay tuned. Do you have an ointment for this? <laughs> In the next shot, I will be this tall and Ted can be that tall. Can I have a, can I have a stool? So Ted, for a lot of our audience who's gonna be out hiking, camping, and backpacking, what are some common first aid scenarios that they might encounter? Yeah, so the most common wilderness medicine issues that are gonna come up are trauma-related. That means musculoskeletal and uh, soft tissue injuries. So think of burns, sprains, lacerations, breaks. Um, so I'm here to show you a few tips on how to deal with those in a little bit outside the box way. Cool. I'd like to start with a few things that most people are carrying with them in the backcountry. This includes backpacks, jackets, and things that you'll find in nature. Adam, would you mind tossing on a jacket for me? Oh, I've always wanted to do this. Oh, come on. All right, so this one is one of my favorites because of how easy and how prepared most people are um, to deal with this. So, upper extremity injuries are super common. This includes any sprain or anything with your wrist, elbow, or shoulder. Um, what you want to do is get it in a position of comfort. Uh, so, you're already wearing a jacket. Adam, let's say you sprained your, uh, your shoulder here. So just put it across your chest, just like that. It's super simple from here. We're just going to take the bottom of the jacket, and we are going to roll it up and over his hand as well. Right there, you have a sling all ready to go. For a little bit of extra support, uh, and just to protect that elbow and keep it in place, sometimes we take a little bit of P-cord, we wrap it around, tie into place. Voila. It's pretty nifty. One of the most common injuries that we have out in the backcountry are lower legs, breaks and sprains. What we just want to remember is to stabilize that, uh, the injury, both the joint above and below it. Um, so when we're splinting, we need structure and we need padding. Some of the structural items that I like to use that you probably will have, sticks. Pretty good, not much padding. So you want to pad with clothing and then uh, immobilize with the sticks and wrap it tight and keep it stable. Uh, another good object that I love using are trekking poles. Trekking poles work the same way as sticks, but if you use them, they actually can help prevent injuries as well. So that's great. Uh, something that most people don't think of, but is one of my favorite, is actually an empty frame pack. This actually provides both stability and padding in one. So it's pretty simple. Empty it out, immobilize again the joint below and above the injury, wrap it around the leg, and then just fasten it with P cord or something else like that. So when traveling in the backcountry, I highly advise everybody to have a first aid kit with them. Most of them come pretty well stocked and are gonna have most of the things that you're going to need, but some extra lightweight items that you may consider adding, um, first up being duct tape. Duct tape around a water bottle, great place to keep, doesn't take up any extra room in your bag. Um, duct tape can take the place of moleskin, so you can use it against blisters. Um, and also, in a sticky situation, use it to cover up a wound. Um, not the best, but it gets the job done. Uh, something a little bit better for wounds would be super glue. So super glue uh, works pretty quickly and more efficiently than you would think. But you just kind of get a wound together and seal it up, let it dry while holding it, and it actually keeps it together pretty well. But being a chemical substance, again, not my favorite. Something that works, uh, in my opinion, the best um, and is super light and easy to use is zip stitch. So essentially, it is a little butterfly bandage with uh, some easy to use little zip ties on it. Pull it right together. Zip stitch is cool because it comes with everything you need. It has the alcohol pad in it. So all you do is clean the wound, center the wound in the little window in the middle of zip stitch, put it on, pull the zip tabs, cut off the excess. So those are a few tips for some common backcountry injuries. And as Ted noted a few times, these are just making do with what's at your disposal to get you to definitive care later on. So thank you, Ted. And until next time, we'll see you at geartunkie.com.